Hi everyone, so once I'm, I'm back after a long time and uh, this time uh, this video is for a specific uh, purpose. One of my friends reached out uh, with a requirement uh, wherein they need to save a collection of records and uh, it should show up immediately on the next screen. So for the purpose of this I'm using uh, the student object which is a custom object uh, having a name, age and department as the fields and on the left hand side I have taken this panel which keeps on adding uh, uh, new students one after the other but not saving them and when I click on this submit it saves the entire collection of the students and immediately reflects uh, on the right hand side so let me see how it works uh, when I click on this plus button it will show up this form I will add in a student mm. Okay, let me add one more. Let me add one more. Let me add one more. Now this uh, is a bit smart because uh, you see how it knew that there's no more space here. So create the next component here. Basically all these are same component okay it keeps on getting repeated whenever I'm clicking on add student how it works I'll show it later now um, once I click on submit all of these should be saved and this should be updated okay when I click on save students save successfully nice toast message and see all of them have been updated here okay now let's see how it actually works so let me go back and uh, okay this is my individual component that you get to see here when I click on add student this is what you're seeing okay this is the component so what exactly it is I have created an attribute okay name student type student this here is very important I'm initializing it with the default value okay without this it, it won't work because it won't know what kind of object are we saving so this is this is very important now lightning card I have taken a lightning card and this is a bit fancy um, I'm, I have bound the name of the student with the title as well so as you type so dynamically in the real time it will keep on updating the title of this card and these are the three input controls uh, bound respectively to the name age and department properties of uh, this student object and all of them are required fields okay now let's move on to the next one the student main form this is basically this entire panel okay so this is the lightning card with the title and this is where the individual components get created and these are two buttons so I have uh, created uh, an attribute students which is an array of the student object default initialized to empty and then uh, I have used another attribute show spinner which is a boolean value just for showing and hiding the spinner and I've taken use of notifications library to show the toast message okay now this is uh, the big lightning card inside it I have uh, conditionally rendered the spinner so whenever I'm toggling the value it keeps on showing and hiding and I have used lightning layout this is what I was mentioning earlier so that uh, the new component knows where to place itself it's highly responsive and the easiest way to create responsive components okay and I've set the multiple rows equals to true so that when the uh, the first row is full of components it will automatically move on to the next row like what happened okay and this is our iteration and uh, I have set the items to this collection of students okay and this is for this is the individual student of course and here is a lightning layout item I have used padding around small just for a bit of padding you know so that they don't appear too close to each other sticking to each other and this is the same component which I'm rendering okay and I'm passing this attribute right here so this is basically showing the form with the blank values okay now whenever I click on this add student okay let us go through the code what exactly are we doing this is the controller so I'm, I'm, I'm just creating this one again okay and I am retrieving the value the current value of the collection I'm pushing this new instance to the array 
and then I'm setting it back to this attribute. Now once this attribute is set, what happens is it has a, it has a new instance, so depending on the number of instances, this component will be rendered. Okay, you can also uh, add a function which says uh, remove student and it will be Im immediately um, make this blank. Okay, so this is one of the functionalities. Now let's look at the submit. See that submit. When I'm submitting this, what exactly am I doing? I'm basically calling this helper method, which is right here. I'm sending this entire collection to a parameter students. Then I'm showing the spinner because, you know, I'm waiting for the server to finish the action. And inside the callback, I'm again hiding it, okay? Because this is uh, when the server-side operation is complete. And now I get to do the other things. And one common mistake, uh, which sometimes uh, happens when you are a beginner, do not forget this line. This is what is actually enqueuing it and ensures that the action is sent to the server, okay? Now, where were we? Right here. So we hit the spinner when the callback is um, called. And then I'm checking for the state if it's success. Well, then show the success message just like this using the no notifications library. Okay, this is a variant. You can set it to success or in case of an error to error or maybe info. There are multiple types of the variant. And this is a message that you want to show. You can use a custom label. That is a best practice. But since I'm doing this just for the sake of a POC, I'm not doing it. And then once you show the success message, this is again very important. This event is what is causing the lightning data table to reload, to reinitialize. Okay, this basically sends out an event. It's, it's, um, uh, it's a system event, but acts like an application event, which uh, tells the other components to refresh the view. In this case, our view has this uh, component, the main component, as well as the lightning data table component. Okay, so when I fire this, that lightning data tables init method is called, and the students that are present in the data table, they get reloaded, okay? And similarly, in the uh, error block, if something goes wrong, I log it in the console, the actual error, so that I as a developer can, can get to see what went wrong. But in the show toast, I'll just say save operation failed, okay? So this part is also covered. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please uh, let me know. Now, uh, let me show you the student list component, which is my lightning data table. Okay, and they're all using this student controller. I'll, I'll get uh, go to this in a while. So now, uh, kindly ignore these two because uh, I have been uh, using this student list component for a lot of other demos. So these two are not relevant for the purpose of this demo. Okay, so here we have a student's object. Okay, and uh, this is basically what the date table is using to render the data table to render the records. Okay. And this is the init handler. This is uh, where I'm actually pulling in all the student records. And this is my lightning card. Uh, it, it's a habit of uh, mine. I always keep using a lightning card to, to show or render any kind of component. Um, basically, uh, you know, uh, it gives a better UI. And then uh, inside the lightning data table, uh, this is the key field, the ID. Very important. And Ignore this one as well. This was done for the purpose of another demo. Okay, so this is reader students where the data is getting set and these are the columns. Let's have a quick look. So this is the init. Okay, uh, in this init, I'm checking and pulling in uh, based on the success, get all students, and setting it in this component, which is what is rendering my lightning data table. And uh, this is what is setting the columns of the lightning data table. So name, age, department. Okay, I have made them editable true, but I'm not showing that for this demo. So attributes, alignment, justify all these things. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at the student controller. So we are not using this one. This is for saving just a single student. We are not doing that. This is what is retrieving all the students and showing it in the lightning data table and this is a method that we are using for saving a collection of students so this is a list of students okay and i'm using this method so as to make sure you know that even if one of the record fails the others go through 
and then this is a basic logging so there's nothing much here actually this this line is what what does most of the work like saving the collection of students so yep that's it so this is a data table which gets uh, refreshed uh, basically the handler is called whenever I uh, invoke this uh, refresh event and that's it so I'll be sharing this code with you guys uh, via my github account you'll find the link later uh, but for now yeah this is it so let's see once again how it works uh, I'll quickly delete the existing students mm -mm -mm. okay and then I'll refresh the screen once again and now that we have a better understanding of the underlying code let's look at this application with a new perspective so this is the student main form component and this is a lightning data table component add student this is the add student component which was created because when I clicked on this add student it inserted a new instance of student record in the collection mind you this record has not been saved to the database yet it's just a blank record so that the R iteration has one item in the collection and renders one component here so now I will be setting in more students this time um, okay mm, department and see this is basically the lightning layout okay and lightning layout item mm, mm. maybe one more uh, let's say mm, and maybe one more I'll say uh, these are all my college mates from back in the day okay so now we have six students and I'll click on submit and there you go six students what happens if I do not delete and add more okay let's see Let's do this again. Hmm, we have those two again added to this entire list. So this is how it works. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thanks.